What's up, everybody? This is DJ Beans. Welcome to Photocritic TV, episode number 21. Welcome, everybody. If you don't already know, just visit www.photocritictv.com. Click on click to submit, and I'll take a look at your photographs on camera online like we're doing right now. If you are interested, take a look at my portfolio, www.djbworldphotography.com. Check it out. Um, guys, we've got three entrants today, so let's get on with it. Episode 21, folks. First one today is from Simone. And Simone's shooting with a Canon 500D with a 50mm f1.8 lens. And this was a photograph taken of her son. And he's wearing an outfit made by my cousin's business. And I took this photo for advertising. Okay, cool. Really nice one, Simone. So, what I love about this photograph is the expression and the lighting are really nice. So, where you've placed your sun is not in any kind of hot spot. The sun's kind of not half across his head or anything like that, creating a shadow across his head. He's in the shade. The lighting is consistent, which is great. The You've got some nice symmetry going on here with the slide. So, the left and right hand sides, they're, they're roughly equal in terms of the amount of kind of background that we can see, which is good. It's a nice amount of symmetry. So the placement of the the central placement of the subject here is works well because you've got that kind of symmetry. So that's fine. What I would say is the first thing have it looks as though your camera is tilted a little bit to the right. So if you have a look at the slide, the left hand side where the slide ends and where the slide starts is actually higher very slightly than the right hand side. So, I'm, all this would be is just tilt your camera a little bit to the right. So that's just a matter of getting the, the lines straight. So this is just me just being really fussy, but straighten the lines up a little bit. And I guess for this for the purpose here, which is to to advertise the clothing that your your cousin makes for his business um, or her business, I would have actually probably. Zoom on, not zoomed in because you're you're using a 50mm f1.8, which you can't zoom on, obviously. Stepped forward a bit, and instead of having all of the slide and the kind of the trees and the framing for the the play equipment in the background, stepped forward and just had the green background. That way, we're focusing purely on your son and what he's wearing. I think that would be. Just, just simplifying a little bit, making it easier for, for the viewer to know exactly what the purpose of, is of the photograph. But I really like the the lighting and the expressions are great. It's a really cute photograph, Simone. So thank you very much for that one. I think that's all I can think of. Let's go to the next one from Chris McAlpine. Chris. Chris is from the Gold Coast in Australia. And... Okay, really interesting photographs, Chris. I really like where your head's at here. So, what's he saying? Uh, so, Chris is trying to, yeah, well, first of all, he's shooting with a Canon S3 IS. I assume that's a point and shoot or a, like a bridge camera of some kind. So, Chris is saying, decided to experiment with panning shots and ribbons, achieved by me sitting on one side of a merry-go-round thing, like in children's play areas, and my partner Kim adjacent me. And then we spin and take happy snaps. Okay, great. I like I like the idea there. That's that's excellent. Great way to create an interesting photograph, which is what we're always trying to do. So the first one, the first two, in fact, I'd say what you've done is the the central placement of the subject. I'm not too sure if that works as well as if, what was your partner's name, Kim, if Kim was on more to the left or more to the right, so on the third lines, which I always go on about. So perhaps credit a bit more space in the first photograph, credit a bit more space on the right, so we can see more of this kind of motion blur and place Kim on the left. 
same again with the second photograph, but I also, all three of these photographs are quite dark as well. So I assume that with this camera, you were shooting on some kind of automatic mode. It is difficult to adjust the exposure manually on these cameras, but what I would have actually done is just somehow brighten this camera up using either the ISO or the aperture or the shutter speed. So it would have been a little bit tricky, I say that because obviously that's all three um, parts of exposure, but it's a little bit tricky here because we're trying to capture motion blur, so you need to set the shutter speed at a certain speed to do that so that you're not freezing the motion. You need to be sure that you're focusing on Kim and not the background. And you want to have a lowish depth of field so that the background is slightly defocused. So there'd be a little bit of a formula there, but I think you need to brighten these photographs up a bit because it's just a little bit too dark. We can't quite see what's going on. The third photograph, I I, I think I probably probably like the most. I'm not sure. I kind of I like all of them. Um, I like the idea here because you can't actually tell that she's on a merry-go-round. It just looks as though she's running. She looks very happy as well, she's smiling, which is great, so good expression. But I think definitely we want to see more of that, so we want to try and brighten the photograph up so we can see more of the subject and have a think about the placement of the subject as well. So the third photograph, yep, you've placed her on the right third line, kind of while her head is there. I think that's all that I can think of, Chris. Uh, so thank you for those submissions. Nice photograph. Let's go to the last entry from Haisa, who is in Brazil. And this is saying, taken in a small city, Sabinopolis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, with an Australian accent. So, and this was shot with a Canon PowerShot 10 megapixel. Okay, so. This photograph, so what you're trying to do here is capture like a, a landscape type of photograph, which is great. What I'm thinking about this is that the, the tree on the left here, you've kind of cut off, so we can't quite see the left hand side of it. I would have maybe stepped back a bit, or maybe even a bit more, so that we could see not only the left hand side of the tree, so where that tree starts to come into frame, but also a bit more of the tree roots that are on the ground there. I also notice it's very hard to tell that there's a, a really nice, there's some really nice pink flowers on the ground here as well. But I don't think that colour has come out very well in this photograph, perhaps because it's just a little bit bright. So I think if you want to bring out the nice pink that's on the ground here, I would have just made that photograph a little bit darker so you can do that with this camera again because it's um, a point and shoot it may be a little bit difficult to control the exposure the exposure being how bright or dark the photograph is um, but I think we need to do that to bring out these colors a little bit more and I can tell in the skyline if you look in the top right hand corner there the skies are very white there's almost no detail there so that's telling me that the photograph is a little bit bright Nice photograph. I think also perhaps there needs to be something on the right hand side to kind of balance this up a little bit. So on the left, there's a lot happening. There's a lot of visual weight. So you've got two trees, a lot happening on the ground, but on the right hand side, you just kind of got the hilltop sloping off to the right and there's nothing to kind of balance it up. So to me, it feels a little bit imbalanced, but I like what you were trying to capture and I understand the position because often we see something like this that's really beautiful and we just want to kind of take a happy snap of it, but our cameras just don't do the job right, especially when you've got an automatic kind of mode in a point and shoot one. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I can think of. Anything else quickly? That's about it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Thank you Hayesa. Thank you Chris. Thank you Simone. That's it for episode 21. I'll catch you next time. Episode 22. DJB signing out.